Hey, what's up, guys? We're here with Adam Weidel from Virtual DJ, and he's going to show us 8, the beta. It's not ready yet, but he's going to show us some great features on this. He's been doing this presentation all week, so his voice is a little rough. Forgive him, but he's doing his best for us. <laughs> we might do this in a couple of different videos, so bear with us. Give us a little taste of what we're going to be talking about. Thanks, Brian. Uh, the, today we're going to be looking at Virtual DJ 8. We're going to look at uh, some of the cool new features that we're implementing and uh, and give you guys a taste of what's to come. And there's more to come than what we're even going to show you. Absolutely. This is just where we're at right now as of August 2012. Um, this is going to be your new default skin. We've changed the layout, but it's still got the same functionality and user friendliness of the original version. Some of the features that we have implemented and have been asked for by the users is the ability to change the font size in the browser, which has been a huge thing for people that have a hard time seeing to begin with. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> so so um, there are going to be shortcuts put in. Right now I have them set as keyboard shortcuts. I can just press wow. my plus button make a, and we can go as big as you want. <laughs> and we can go right back down to regular size. Other cool features about the browser is we now, if, you're, if your pane settings are too small, it will now scroll the entire track back Ooh, and forth. So if you're one of these guys that have a lot of information, they like to have their genre, BPM, key, number of times played, and all these fields are filled right up, they can still see the track that's highlighted. So we'll just go back here and you can see, well, it's very hard to see that. Adam, can you zoom in on that? That way they can probably see it. Can you zoom it at that point where it's scrolling? Absolutely. Like, that'd be kind of cool. So if it goes big, then no. Yeah, see, there it is. Definitely so see that. We, obviously our, our artist pane is completely too small to see. <laughs> yeah. But we'll open it up a bit here so you can see it a little better. And we'll, we don't need genre being that big. It can be dragged. Other cool feature about the browser that I really liked is now we can reposition and put genre at the front if we want. You can put it in any other order that you'd like. We're very limited on 7. We you were stuck to a certain format. Now you can just move it around at your, cool. at your leisure. <laughs> Another big feature that a lot of uh, users asked for was the ability to highlight tracks in some way or another. Now we've opened that up. We can now right click on the song. We can go to the file info pane where a lot of our users are familiar with. It looks like not much has changed, but you'll see that we've got this color here now. What does it do? We click on it. We can go into the spectrum, choose a complete color that you'd like to use, make a custom color, or just choose what's there. Click OK, apply, and we'll move off that track. And now you can see that it's highlighted in your color of choice. And you said this any color windows can produce, essentially, you can do. Absolutely. The, That's the spectrum is you can make custom colors if it's got to match something, you know the code for it. You suggested maybe, you know, red would be don't play or explicit and maybe green would be your big tracks and that's great you can do all kinds of neat stuff like that absolutely it's completely up to the user they're obviously going to need to know what colors do what in, right. their, in their mind yeah. um, but we're not going to limit you um, for guys that are mobiles and they do they do a lot of mobile work sometimes they will especially for something like a wedding where they have a filter folder and they put all their tracks in it they put their uh, one folder for do not plays, one uh, folder for must plays, one sure. folder for formalities. Now they can put it in all one folder and they can change the colors of the tracks so they know Perfect. exactly what is what. Perfect. Um, so that pretty much covers the new browser features. Um, very cool. Um, it's nice to have these things. Um, also the search feature has, uh, has changed as well so you don't have to put things in progressive order as you type them you can type in artist title you know parts of things um, like I know I have some Skrillex on here uh, we can type in Skrillex he comes up I don't have many Skrillex tunes so that was probably a bad example but you could type in part of the part of the song title part of the artist and, and sort things that way as you go.